So California is just gonna keep on getting worse and worse and worse, guys. Welcome to the channel, my name is Orlando, and today we're talking about California again. If you saw my last video, um, I basically did a comparison of, cause I'm in Illinois and California, and basically how they're the same. And I'm doing this video now in California because California is continuing, continuing to try to pass laws that are ridiculous. Okay, so as you have guys have seen in the news, there's just been a ton, a ton of people leaving California. I mean, you've had influencers leave like Joe Rogan. You've had big companies leave like HP. Tesla has left. Then Oracle has left. Now, a lot of times people will look at this and go, okay, yeah, these guys are leaving but what is really the big deal when it comes to these guys leaving? And listen, the issue with when it comes to people leaving California, our big companies, our influencers leaving California is because once you kind of get this momentum going where everybody is talking about leaving California, it allows individuals to make up their mind faster and quicker because everyone sees the momentum of everyone leaving California. So let's just talk about HP. HP was one of probably the first group of people to get into Silicon Valley and, you know, and kind of just kind of start off that whole tech era when it comes to Silicon Valley. Now, these guys have really kind of put their roots into being in California. And if these guys, a huge company is saying, you know what, we have our roots here in California and we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave. That's a big deal, guys, that's a big deal. Then you look at like, Tesla, Elon Musk, you have to understand the where Elon Musk is. You know, he's been climbing, climbing the world's most richest human being, you know? And so he's, I think he's number two now, and you have that type of power and that type of wealth. It means something. Now, I know Elon Musk has kind of been on this tirade of trying to get out of California to begin with. I think he probably started early with that. He just was having a lot of issues with the state itself, the county, and he just wanted out. So this situation kind of came up at the right exact time for him. And then we have Oracle. I saw that the CEO, he's leaving to go to Hawaii, and then the company itself is leaving too, and I see everybody kind of migrating towards that Texas, Austin area, and you know what that means, right? What that means is, is that you're basically taking all of the Silicon Valley guys and you're moving them over into Austin, Texas, which basically means that that area will become the new Silicon Valley. And that's what is trying to happen there. And the biggest reason why that is so important is because, you know, Everybody that I know when it comes to high talent, when it comes to coders, when it comes to developers, anything doing with tech, you had to be close or in Silicon Valley to make it. That's where all the top talent was. And it was just like if you were be trying to become an actor and you had to go to LA, same exact thing. And that same thing is going to happen in Austin, Texas, which basically means are in the Texas area. You're gonna have to be there in that area to have the best talent, to be around everyone networking and have the most chance of having a startup and success and anything doing with tech is gonna now happen in Texas. And so it's crazy how this is turning out to be. But you know, one of the big things that I want to really convey in this is that California is continuing, continuing to opening the wound and allowing more people and pushing more people out. California, just a couple of days ago, was talking about this ridiculous wealth tax that they're going to have where they're going to chase, you heard me right, chase down wealthy individuals that if you were doing business or if you were in the state for 60 days, they're gonna chase you to pay taxes even if you're out of the state. They have vowed that they're gonna chase Tesla. They're gonna chase down Oracle. They're gonna chase down HP. They're gonna chase down all the wealthy businesses and wealthy individuals down and make sure that they pay taxes. And this tax will go for 10 years, a whole decade. How crazy is that? A whole decade. These guys are going to try to chase down wealthy individuals. 
Now, this is one thing that I want you guys to really understand when it comes to this, because I know a lot of people don't really care about rich people, right? They go, oh, well, whatever, whatever. But what is, what is the number one thing that allows an economy to grow? What is the number one thing? And that number one thing is jobs. If you have an area where the jobs are growing, people are making good money at their jobs, you, you just need jobs to make an economy grow. That's just point blank period. If all the jobs are leaving your area, your state, and going to another state, you're going to be in the negative. That's just what it is. How are you gonna pay for highways and pave roads and for schools and all this other stuff? Property values are gonna go down. All these things are a domino effect and this will happen in California. California does not understand. It seems like they don't understand and I know they understand, but it seems like they don't understand economics one-on-one. -on -one. You don't scare away the business and the rich individuals that create jobs. You just don't do it. You stifle innovation. You get rid of all of the old established businesses in your state and you're just, you know, hand feeding them to your next door neighbors, Arizona, Nevada. You're handing them over to all these other states where they're happy to get in the extra revenue. Very, very happy. So the next big question is, when those individuals and those businesses go into those other states like Texas, Nevada, and all these other places, what is going to happen with those individuals and business coming? Are they going to bring the same issues and problems over to those other states? And to be honest with you, I don't know the answer to that. You have to wait and see what happens with that. Next four years, five years, we'll, we could see, okay, these individuals have left and these are now the new issues. Do the, does the state of Texas have the infrastructure for this mad rush of individuals coming in? Does Austin, Texas, the, the city, does it have enough infrastructure to house all these individuals? Are you going to see a big boom in real estate values in that area? And that's another thing, guys. If you are in the Texas, uh, the Austin, Texas, or just in Texas in general, or one of these neighboring states, I have to imagine that you're seeing a big boom in your real estate values when it comes to this situation of us being in a pandemic, even though we have, you know, the unemployment and all this other stuff. I'm guessing you probably see this huge boom in your real estate values. And maybe if you're in that area and you were on the fence, on the fence about investing in that area, just take another look at this, guys. Take another look at it and see that if these huge companies are coming into your area, it's only gonna get better. Jobs, jobs, jobs create a lot of value and wealth for individuals. And you could be one of those individuals that can get a lot of wealth from these huge companies coming into your backyard. It will be great for you. But once again, man, California, man, you would think that they would try to stop the bleeding and try to pass some laws that made sense rather than being a creepy stalker <laughs> of a state trying to stalk and hunt down individuals for every penny, dime, and dollar when it comes to individuals leaving the state when you're the one who caused people to leave to begin with. If you just would have passed legislation and made things not so unfriendly to be in that state, then you wouldn't have this issue to begin with. Newsom, man, it just seems like everybody dislikes this guy. From the liberals to <laughs> even to the other side, I mean, it just seems like everybody dislikes this guy. What is Newsom doing? He's just doing nothing but trying to still continue to pass these ridiculous laws. Okay, guys, I don't wanna make this a long video, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of just explain why California is continuing to make these horrible bad mistakes and just kind of just lay it out and let you guys know the new laws that these guys are trying to pass, which are insane. It really is. So once again, if you got value out of this content, please hit that subscribe button, notification button, and that like button. It really helps out my channel as always. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.